Uh, well, next time. <laughs> Hard to follow a heart, that's for sure. <laughs> and I'm kind of blind, so forgive me if I have to pull these up. The first one's called Once a Princess. Her crystal pedestal shattered, her tiara bent and covered in filth, lying in a river of her tears. Who she was now in soul searching question. The true test of a princess is not how she holds herself when waving to the crowds, but rather how she clear, cleans the heart when finery becomes tattered. She walks in rain clouds. She walks in rain clouds on bright, crisp winter days the night and its terrors still haunting the infant woman child. Innocence, a foreign term, ravaged by that which cannot be uttered. Held captive in the hours, in the horrors of darkness that plague her, despite the rays that warm her face, her hands are icicles protruding from appendages blue and veiny, nearly necro in body and soul, as neither dawn nor day hold solace, their strength sapped by the all too real battering of the loathsome black hours that trap them. Consumed in the hangover of fear and remembrance, she loses her way on a path she has trodden many, many, many times, but never left a crumb trail. Solitude frightens her as does silence. The demons that lie in wait there horrify her to her core. She restlessly seeks out companionship, busies herself with distractions, futile attempts to vanquish the memories that plague the stillness. She walks in rain clouds on bright, crisp winter days, tenaciously holding on to her umbrella. Oh. This one's called Consumed. Sitting in the quagmire of her self-contempt, a flame ignites beneath the blackened cauldron. Like a frog set to boil in a pot of tepid water, she was clueless. She was being consumed from the inside. <laughs> as a blizzard to a snowflake is this mystery. Drawn, compelled, inexplicable, yet with so many black holes, one has to wonder, how does this universe exist? Simple, you buffoons, Einstein would have said. It's child's play. One creates the chaos that they exist in, and the other is thoroughly consumed with the theory of the chaotic universe. So no matter the head banging, there is a river running deep and rivers of love are rare and when found run deeper than imagining, flowing strong through time immemorial till time ceases to exist. But rivers, be they crashing white water over hidden boulders, or pooled black as night, masquerading as <coughs> swimming pools, <coughs> never, never, never run clear and bubbling like brooks straight from streams. Rivers are alive, in constant flux, 
always flowing, ever moving. So why are you surprised to witness this miracle? Doesn't E equal MC squared? Silly, expecting constancy when change is the only constant to be true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> love to Andy. As the krill flies, you're still more than a worm away for breakfast. If my sails full, it would take weeks before I reached you. But as our hearts sing, there is no distance far enough to separate us. Oh, wow. Beautiful.